Welcome to Rapid Underscore. I'm Thomas Parsler and I'll be introducing you to the Underscore.js library. In this video, I will just want to give you a taste of why you'd want to look at Underscore, and I'll introduce the projects we'll be building together over the coming videos. So what is Underscore? It's a library full of useful little functions that are helpful when writing JavaScript. It's definitely not a framework. You can use the functions from Underscore if you're writing plain JS, using jQuery, or even using a full framework like Backbone or, or Angular.js. The functions it contains cover a fairly wide range of uses, but they tend to encourage a more functional style of coding, which is an increasingly popular style of programming that makes a lot of use of functions and makes codes easier to think about and less error prone. A lot of the time, the functions in underscore let you reduce the size of your code and make your intentions more obvious. For example, you might take this code and replace it with this code down here using underscore's filter method. Don't worry if you don't understand this yet, we're going to be looking at all this stuff later. So underscore contains a lot of functions. We're not going to be able to cover all of them, but we should be able to give you a good idea of the kinds of ways you can use underscore. As part of the upcoming videos, we'll be building an example application. This application will help users to find the best time to see the International Space Station from their location. The ISS, or the International Space Station, has been orbiting the Earth since it was launched in 1998 and always has at least a few astronauts on board. It completes 15 and a half orbits of the Earth every day and it's the brightest man-made object in the sky and is visible with the naked eye. So for any given location there's going to be a few flyovers per day. But depending on cloud cover, it may not always be possible to see it. So what our application is going to do is it's going to correlate weather data with ISS flyover time data so the user can always find a good time to spot the station. Let's get the project started now. First, let's create a directory. And then let's switch into it. And we're going to want to create an HTML file. And in here, we're going to put the standard HTML boilerplate and let's set the title. Now we're going to want to include some CSS and let's just use the Bootstrap CSS library just to get things going quickly. Let's add a one custom bit of CSS. I'm going to make the main container, which we'll create in a minute, 600 px wide. That just is going to make it look a little bit better. You just have to trust me on that for the moment. So once we got that done, let's go and add the basic HTML structure for the page into which the JavaScript will insert stuff later. So let's create the container div. It's just a container, which is a class from Bootstrap. Now let's add somewhere to add the flyover data. Give it an ID so we can find it from JavaScript later. Now we want a header section, which is going to have an H1 in it, so a page header. So let's again add that, let's add the H1, set the title to see the station, spot the ISS. And then let's also add a refresh button, which we'll hook up from JavaScript later on. But for now, we're just putting the HTML into the page. So we give that a little container and then we add an HTML button. And we're going to give it some classes from Bootstrap again, just to give it a default button style. Right, so we're going to do that. And now all we need is to include some JavaScript. So let's add another scripts tag at the bottom. And it's going to be scripts.js. So let's create that file right now. We're not going to put any code in it for the moment, so let's just leave it as a blank file. OK, that'll do for this video. Join me in the next video when we'll see how underscore can be included in the page and we'll move on to actually trying out some of the functions that underscore provides and seeing how they help with the application we're building.